Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today celebrates one full year of Tuesdays with Tara. And I just have to say, wow, what an amazing year. This practice of doing this every single week of the year for me has been really important in helping me get more present with doing my work, doing the work I do on myself, tools for transformation, tools for support for the empath. Just every day doing something to support myself, whether it's gratitude practice or a focus wheel or going to a co codependency anonymous meeting, connecting with friends, you know, spending time with my kids, spending time with my partner, which allows me to take steps in my own personal life in terms of how I take care of my body, how I take care of my mind, how I take care of my emotions. So this Tuesdays with Tara today is all about celebrating the last year. And I also want to share just a little practice that I do at the beginning of every single year. For the past 13 years, I've been finding a word that supports me throughout the year. This past year, the word that came to me was vibrant. So the year 2021 for me was all about really claiming a vibrant life. One of the things that's helped me do that is Tuesdays with Tara. So every single year I do a meditation to focus on what wants to come to life through me for the rest of the, the new year. And I really highly recommend that you do the same. I'm not gonna lead you through a meditation today. What I'm gonna do is just go through the year in review and talk a little bit about all the things that we went through this year. And a call to action for you is to come up with a word for yourself for this year, to put some energy and attention and focus and support you throughout the entire year and just give you something to build on something to look forward to. One year, my word was trust. Another year, my word was listen. Uh, another time, I think it was my very first one, my word was a gift. And so what that meant for me throughout the year changed. And usually by around June or July of every single year that I've chosen a word, I would have a whole new shift of vibration around that particular word. And by the end of the year, I could feel how it was really just embodying inside of me each year, each time that I would have my new word. And so I just really highly suggest and recommend that you do the same for yourself, whether it's go through your own meditation, find one online. Uh, probably next year, I'll end up guiding everyone through a word for the year. This year though, I really want to celebrate Tuesdays with Tara and just honor and put some energy into what we've done. For the past year. So I'm just going to read through the ones that I have here. I wrote down each and every single one of the Tuesdays with the Tara that I did for last year. And I'm just going to read through each one so that you know what they're called. And if you feel called to go and watch them, hop on my Tuesdays with Tara, look for the title, because this is what I'm going to be sharing with you here is the name of each title. Each thing starts with Tuesdays with Tara, and then, and then right after that is the name that I'm going to be sharing with you. So the first one is Go to Gratitude. The second one, Tools for the Empath, Zip Up and Fluff Up. The following week was a focus wheel for 2020 vision. Then we did a tree meditation. Then we did EFT for changing your money story. We did a scream therapy session. And then the following week, we did a meditation for letting go. Then we did laughter yoga and then a meditation for presence and then gratitude seeds, moving through a process, focus wheel for a healthy relationship with money, prosperity, and abundance, tools for the empath, is it mine, moving from hope to trust meditation, on mindfulness was the following week. The next week was a few of my favorite things. That was the title for that one. And then we did a conversation about internal and external processors. Then we did on changing the way we talk to and about ourselves. The following week, we did mindfully noticing your body, thoughts, and emotions. Then we did moving from pain and suffering to neutrality. 
Then we did the serenity meditation. Next was who I go to for support. Then self-care, gratitude and presence, meditation on joy. Let's talk about codependency, moving from impressing to inspiring, self-empowering and up-leveling pep talk, bloom like a flower, self-care with an exclamation point, asking for help slash allowing support, simple breathing technique, plus codependency, empathy, and high sensitivity, connecting with joy meditation, a call to action, connect to nature, trust conversation and focus wheel, forming a healthy relationship to money, money relationship meditation, breaking codependency cycles, codependency awareness and call to action, codependency and extremes, from surviving to thriving, zero point or the space between, leaning into the levity of life, care of the soul, on belonging, on alignment, on self-awareness and perspectives, meditation and two exercises, pulling ties and pulling pain out of the body, on releasing suffering, claiming our gifts. And then today, the synopsis. So if you go back and listen, each pause is a new Tuesdays with Tara that I shared with you over the year. And if you feel drawn to any one of those, please hop on my past videos and just go through them, you know, go through them. If you want to start from the very beginning and move through the whole rest of the year. And just so you know, this year, my focus is going to be on each month is going to have a theme. And the first week of the month, I'm going to talk about that particular theme and some ideas and energies around it. And then I'm going to do a practice and then I'm going to go a little deeper into that idea or the theme. And then the fourth week is going to be another practice. We're going to have conversation, practice, conversation, practice each month. So January is going to be a little bit off because we didn't start the first week with the, with that process, but starting this year, that's my goal is to really give you some focus and energy for each month. So I'm very excited to share 2022 with you. And I look forward to hearing more from you this year. Really, please just reach out and, and ask me any questions. Definitely get on my comments and comment about your process around each of the videos and share with me anything that comes up for you when you're doing, when you're either listening or doing one of the practices. Thank you so much for joining me on Tuesdays with Tara. Thank you for this past year. And I look forward to celebrating 2022 with you. Have a blessed and beautiful day.